It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC South. It's the Saints and the Bucks, and it's coming up next. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gordon alongside the one and only Charles Davis and CD. Lots of compelling storylines in a game like this. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for these two offenses. And I'm glad you brought up the numbers because sometimes it's hard to quantify a team's performance solely by judging the numbers. But I think with these two teams, what you see is a pretty accurate representation of who they are. Sports. To return is Jadon Mickens. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Time to see what this Tampa Bay Bucks offense has in store. They're led by the now seven-time Super Bowl champion, the MVP of Super Bowl 55, Charles. It's Tom Brady. After two decades in New England, a change of scenery, and another tremendous season culminating with a Super Bowl title. 40 touchdown pass in the regular season, and most since his record-shattering 50 touchdown season of 2007 in New England. He did have minor knee surgery in the offseason, but he said he's sticking with his plan to play beyond the age of 45, which is still two years from now. Look out, NFL. Tom Brady still wants to win. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Now Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside, and I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. You can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness, that's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Demario Davis, Saints leading tackler last year, in on to stop that time. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And we get a look at Jameis Winston, ready to lead this New Orleans offense for the first time in his seventh season in the NFL and his second with the Saints. This is a big change for everyone in the Bayou country because Drew Brees is no longer the starting quarterback, so there'll be a new starter for the first time since 2006 for the Saints. Jameis Winston, as we all know, unlimited potential has a 5,100-yard season on his resume in Tampa. But turnovers, that's the biggest part he's got to change. If he does that, he could take the reins and really run with them in New Orleans. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. Now a throw here, hold in. 
And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Try to pound it in, Kamara. The ball is out. Kamara fumbled it. That's it, baby. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Winston to give, it's Kamara. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they'll see what they can do on third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Now he'll escape to his right, and he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. Five yards that time out of the scramble, but now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Rosas' kick is good, and the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here comes the offense again for the defending Super Bowl champs, who Charles return all 22 starters for the 2021 campaign, and they try to be the first team to repeat a Super Bowl champ since the Patriots did it back in 03 and 04 with a quarterback named Tom Brady. And this version of that quarterback expects this team to actually repeat as well. And boy, does he burn to make that happen, right? When you think about it, take the Patriots to back-to-back -to -back and take the Buccaneers, already immortal. He goes beyond that as well. And this team, one thing that can stop them, complacency. And that won't happen with TB12 around. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Well, Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. And Suckup will put this one right through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, unfortunately, no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And we will not see a run back here, here from Harris. Here we go. Here we go. The New Orleans Saints coming back out here on offense. And Charles, how strange week one will it be that for the first time since 2005, Drew Brees will not be under center. Jameis Winston named the starter. What did you make of that decision? And where do you see the Saints going in the post-Drew Brees era? Wasn't surprised at all by the decision if Jameis Winston played well. And Winston lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. The 
The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones, fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later. Boom. End zone. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. No return there for Harris, and the drive will begin at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans, and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores, that can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Jason Pierre-Paul, his second sack of the night. I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times did we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. To try again after the sack. Winston escaping the pressure right. Winston into the slide, and he's got a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. That one covers 29 yards, first down. From the gun, Winston. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, CD, something that we've done for a number of years as the season gets going is we get predictions on each side. Let's start with the AFC. Who do you have in 2021 as your division winners? Well, let's go to the East, and I think Buffalo repeats, although New England, they got better in the offseason, and despite starting a rookie quarterback in Matt Jones, I think they'll make a nice run with the Buffalo Bills this year. In the North, what a battle you have there. Three-way. Cleveland, Pittsburgh. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Brady. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Hey, 
The final shot before half for Brady. And he's going to go down. So they pass up the field goal attempt to go for six, but as a result, they leave points on the field, and that's going to do it for this first half. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. It's something we've said a million times, but we were treated to a fine performance in the first half from Tom Brady. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Saints. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Second half straight ahead from Raymond James Stadium. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. So for the call, let's get back over to Tampa and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery and harder to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was it three drives? Yep. Three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. On first down, Jones. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A handoff to Fournette. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Well, Leonard Fournette, not a guy to shy away from contact. He can lower the boom on you when he gets ahead of steam. And that was a heck of a run right there. Yeah, that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took off that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact.
Extra point try now for Sokka. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And Winston lost the football. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it, so they will indeed keep possession. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Jameis to throw it. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. Now a pass complete to Hogan. Chris Hogan. Touchdown, New Orleans. Chris Hogan. 54 yards. And the Saints are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. And plenty to praise on the play, but this is also a bit of a breakdown defensively because you've got to be right on him when he makes the catch. Otherwise, he has the ability to really make you pay, and he does right there, picking up excellent real estate after the catch. And Charles, you can see on the next-gen stats, he traveled an even 40 yards after the catch. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17 10. Five plays there on that drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Oh, the return is Mickens. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. Get 
They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Demario Davis there on the stop. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking downfield for Godwin. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he returns it to the end zone. And fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Suck up for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground, and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. The first down throw for Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Winston. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And Let's out go. of bounds Let's on the go. other Let's side go. of midfield at the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw is Winston. And the pressure. 
pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Nice play there by Shaq Barrett, and he was always going to be hard-pressed to match his 2019 output, where his 19 and a half sacks led the NFL. But still in 2020, he put eight on the board and remains a key cog in the Buccaneers' defense. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Winston. Give him five on the screenplay, and that'll set up a third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. You ain't going to a big me. play there. 54 yards. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Jadon Mickens now from his end zone. It'll be a touchback. The ball brought out to the 25 as Mickens will not return it. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again to Jones. First down and much more here for Jones as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another, and especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball? You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those <laughs> were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a carry for Bernard. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. 
Again, here's Bernard. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game.